Oh my god. <laughs> the things we do to have a baby. It was all the way in, so. <laughs> Just picked her up. How you feeling? So tired. Yeah, you look tired. Oh my gosh, you guys, our egg retrieval is Wednesday. I cannot believe we've made it. Like, I can't believe we've made it to this next step. I'm like slightly freaking out. I feel so overwhelmingly like excited and scared and nervous all at the same time right now, but I wanted to pick up the camera and just start vlogging because I want, I want to remember this. I want to remember how I'm feeling in these moments. So anyways, let me just give you guys like a quick little update. So we had our last ultrasound this morning and this was either going to be a really good appointment or we were going to cancel our cycle. So obviously it went well. We've had so many ups and downs throughout this entire, um, 12 days of stem stimulation medication that I've been on. It's been a journey, it's been a freaking journey. I'm not gonna get into detail, but basically I had a dominant follicle and they were worried my other ones weren't gonna grow and there was a really high chance we were gonna have to cancel our cycle and start over. But everything worked out and my other follicles grew. I still have a monster follicle that is massive, like measuring at like 30 millimeters. You guys, it's huge. Like, it's really big. So anyways, this morning, my doctor gave us the go-ahead. We are doing the trigger shot today, and we will have our egg retrieval 36 hours from the, the time we do the trigger shot. So it will be on Wednesday. I'm waiting for a phone call from my doctor to tell us exactly, like, what time we need to do the trigger shot. This will be the butt shot, the shot that goes in the butt. I'm just gonna go ahead and start this vlog over this, like, egg retrieval process, and I will take you guys along with the next few days of, like, what we're doing and what's going on and how we're, um, like how everything goes. I got a little bit of bad news this morning, but I don't know if it's bad news. It's just like a potential problem. He was really looking at my left ovary, which actually produced one, maybe two follicles, which is crazy because it's in failure. So we might have an opportunity there. However, I have an artery that is right where he'd have to insert the catheter into my ovary. So he says that might be tricky and he might not be able to actually have access to my left ovary. If he can though, we might get an extra egg or two out of it, but we will see. We're expecting to get four to five eggs for my retrieval, which in IVF is not a great number, but for somebody who has diminished ovarian reserve like I do, it's pretty much expected. And just because we are able to retrieve four to five eggs doesn't mean we'll have four to five embryos. We really didn't think we were gonna be doing an egg retrieval this week, so it's a huge win for us, a huge, huge win. But yes, that is where we're at right now. Very excited to take you guys along with these next couple of days and Let's hope, let's hope we get some good eggs at the end of this. It's trigger shot time. We just woke up at midnight. Well, it's 11.30. This is a solvent, this is actual medication. Yeah, I wanna document this, but I'm so tired. Um, it's not a small needle. It's not a small needle. Okay, it's 11.30 at night. So, thick needle. here's our predicament. We it's were- a 22 gauge. Gosh, I look so tired. We were supposed to take Pregnal, which is our trigger shot. We were supposed to take it um, Let me wash my hands. subcutaneously. <laughs> and our doctor told us today, they were like, actually, we'd really like you to take it intermuscular. And we don't have the right needle to take it intermuscular, but they were like, oh, it's fine. You can just use the, the what is this? The 22 gauge. One and a half inch needle. So we should. Say 25, right? We should have it's a 20. Smaller. Yeah, we should have a 25. Um, so this is the one that you're supposed to use to like mix up everything and not necessarily give yourself the injection. But they were like, it's fine. You can just use that one. So anyways, we are giving ourselves this trigger shot with the wrong gauge needle, but it is what it is. So this one goes right. It's basically a straw. It's basically a straw. I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm, <not lying. laughs> I'm so excited we're at this point, but I'm really terrified of this yeah. um, of this shot. Um, and it goes right in like the butt muscle. So, yay. Oh. Are we doing left side or are we doing right side? It's your call. It's your like butt. Left side. It's I'm going to start icing my butt. Oh we my god. Stop. You're stressing about me out about this needle. <laughs> okay. Um, we have like a million alarms going off too. <laughs> So we don't That's forget. all you. You put like 800 alarms, like you, we're gonna miss it. Hold on, show them this needle. That's going to my butt. Compared to oh. the, We've been the using insulin like half syringes. Inch insulin syringe needles. Which are like. Show them the difference. Like tiny little. Oh my god. <laughs> 
the things we do to have a baby. We have a million alarms on so we don't we don't forget, but we're set for midnight. The shot is complete right here. So now we're going to watch the video on how to give the injection just to refresh refresh our minds and then we'll actually administer the injection at midnight. It's important to do it exactly at the time they tell you because the, um, uh, I can't even talk, I'm so tired. Egg retrieval is exactly 36 hours from the time that you do the trigger injection. So it's very important that you, like everything aligns. Mm. I'm so scared, why am I so scared about this? Countdown. All right. One, two, three. It's in. I don't even feel it. You're fine. It doesn't hurt at all. Dude, that was all the way Is in. Is it yeah. done? Yeah. That was all the way in? It that didn't even hurt. In. That did not even hurt. I like, didn't even feel it. I mean, it had to have been in your muscle. You got a big booty, but it was all the way in. So. <laughs> Am I bleeding? Nah, no. Well, I mean, let's just make sure. Okay. But. Oh my God, it's done. <laughs> I hope I, I mean, it felt right. Did you, you didn't feel it like? That did not even hurt even a little bit. I was so scared that did not even hurt. Oh, I'm supposed to massage it, right? Yeah. Um, I iced it and I feel like that's what made a huge difference. So if you're in on this journey, I iced it. my golden it. hands. <laughs> yeah, and I got a really good nurse. I am so sleepy from last night. I did not sleep very good last night because of just, you know, everything. Trigger shot, waking up. Scarlett's birthday is today, so we did like birthday stuff this morning, bright and early, and um, yeah, I'm just super tired, super tired. But I just did blood work for, um, like my last blood work before tomorrow, before the egg retrievals. Our retrieval is at 11. We check in though for like pre-op stuff at 10 15 tomorrow so in like 24 hours because it's 10 o'clock on tuesday right now anyways that's all my updates for today i will see you guys tomorrow it is egg retrieval day i can't believe we made it to this point to, to be completely honest we did not think we were gonna make it here um last night i didn't sleep very well i've been dealing with a lot of cramping this morning um and in the middle of the night i think the hormones are making me constipated so i have a huge like stomach pain um, and I'm very nauseous. So all of those things combined, plus like the anxiety and excitement for today, I did not sleep very well. So I am looking forward to this nap a little more than I should be. You say that now. I know. How do you think I'm gonna react? Well, I think you've been put under before. I think I have when I had my wisdom teeth pulled. Yeah, you said you hadn't, but I... I thought I just had they laughing. They don't always yeah, don't teeth. I don't know, I've never I been... I was definitely put under, but I had all four done. I did too. Maybe yeah, I was. Under, okay. Yeah. I thought I just had laughing gas. So I guess technically I have been put under before. I just don't really remember it. So it feels like it was such a long time ago. But yeah, they completely give you full anesthesia. So I'll be asleep during the procedure. But it's a very fast procedure. I think it takes like maybe like, I don't know. We're scheduled for 45 minutes. Um, I don't even think it takes that long. Very nervous, but excited. And I can't believe like we are potentially making our future baby today. Like that is just wild to me. Yeah, it's pretty wild. It's crazy. It hasn't like it, sunk in for me yet. Yeah, it hasn't really sunk in for me yet either, but I think it's starting to slowly hit me that what happens today like determines, or could determine the rest of our lives. I've got my IVF mama sweatshirt on. I felt like this was fitting to wear today. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be, life.
night with no distractions we'll get away this is what we waited for just picked her up how you feeling so tired yeah you look tired we really got, keep your eyes open they got to my left ovary we got five eggs five eggs which is one more than we expected yeah i was hoping for more but that's that's all right yeah it's better than zero they're still hoping they fertilize mm -hmm. just want to go to sleep all right let's get you home we're home i'm so tired so sleepy but i'm feeling good um i'm a little crampy but like not bad not bad at all so five eggs ty and i just realized we uh took our trigger shot on Scarlett's fifth birthday and we retrieved five eggs so I feel like that's good luck but um, the procedure was really fast I was out <laughs> um, obviously on anesthesia so it went fast for me but um, we were we got there at 10 15 and we were out of there at 11 45 so definitely fast I'm gonna get some sleep. I'm gonna lay down and I'll talk to you guys later. 101.5. Okay, so it's like 6.30 right now and I've developed a fever. Um, I've been like sleeping all afternoon and I'm like super hot right now. Um, they just woke me up because Scarlett has a wiggly tooth. So they woke me up to tell me. Hi. Got a wiggly tooth. She's so excited. She came up to me and she's like, Daddy, does your tooth start hurting and then it gets better and it falls out or something? And I was like, do you have a, do you have a wiggly tooth? Are you losing a tooth? And yeah, I cannot believe it. So she has a wiggly tooth anyways. Um, Ty like fell on my forehead and he's like, you feel really hot. So he took my temperature and it was 102.9, which is quite the temperature yeah. i'm like sweating i feel super hot right now but <laughs> the only um, thing was you were like bundled up yeah sleeping so it's already gone down just, yeah like, but you here. still have a fever yeah i don't think it's as high as it was though but anyways if we develop a fever i'm supposed to call my doctor and we um called the after hour doctor and actually got connected to my actual fertility doctor so that was kind of cool he gave me his direct number and like told me to start taking some tylenol and see like how how i do to that um, asked me a bunch of questions and I don't think I'm at risk for OHSS at all because I only had five eggs retrieved um, And I know that's like a big thing after an egg retrieval. So I really don't I don't know. We ordered dinner um, My mother-in-law sent us dinner. So that was pretty cool, but I ate a little bit I just have not really been able to eat. I don't have much of an appetite, but I did eat a little bit But that is my update for now. I hope this fever Sorry. goes away and I'm gonna hang out with the fam. Hey guys, okay, so let me just read this to you, hold on. Um, it's the next day, first of all. I'm feeling way better. Um, I'm on an antibiotic, which I think is helping, and I started taking Tylenol, and that took down my fever, and I feel completely normal today. Still a little crampy, but way more normal than I was yesterday. I literally slept all day yesterday from like 11 a.m. to basically 6 a.m. this morning, not even joking. Anyways, we've been celebrating all morning ty just left to go to the gym and i thought i'd finally like sit down and update you guys um because we got our fertilization report in and let me just read this to you it says good morning as you recall yesterday you had a total of five eggs retrieved during your procedure of those five were mature at the time of the retrieval a total of five eggs fertilized normally today day one of your embryo development the next step for the embryo is the biopsy and the freezing of the embryo, which will take place on day five and or day six of the embryo development. You guys, uh, I can't even believe I'm saying this. Our five eggs that were retrieved yesterday all were mature and they all fertilized. And now we wait to see like what makes it to the embryo stage. I'm in shock. I was not expecting to get this good of news. Like this is honestly best case scenario. I am just feeling so, so incredibly grateful. I'm seeing five everywhere. Like it's crazy. We pulled the trigger shot on Scarlett's fifth birthday. We retrieved five eggs, five were mature, five fertilized. Like this is wild. Five is just our 
apparently our lucky number. But we got a report this morning and Ty and I ordered our favorite acai bowls to celebrate and I cried and we called our family and this is definitely like good news. This is good news for us. So now we wait, now we wait and see what turns into embryos. We should have that report early next week. They said we should have it by Tuesday at 6 p.m. So once we know what turned into embryos, which the chances of all of those fertilized eggs turning into embryos is a very slim. Um, there's no way. I mean, there's a chance, but there's no way. So we're expecting for some of them to fall off, but whatever does make it to a day five embryo will be genetically tested. So we are doing PGT testing on them. So in a couple of weeks, we will hopefully be left with one or two genetically normal embryos. Um, so crossing my fingers for all of that. I'll keep you guys updated. We'll be freezing our embryos and doing a frozen transfer in hopefully January, um, February at the latest, but as soon as we can. So as soon as we can, I'm feeling so incredibly grateful. I'm so happy. I have such a weight off of my shoulders, I feel like. Still a lot of things could happen and go wrong, but I feel like everything is just going right right now. And I'm just gonna count my blessings. For us, the hardest part through all of this was going to be the egg retrieval because I do have diminished ovarian reserve and I'm a poor performer to the stimulation medication and this was just gonna be the hardest part for us. Once we get to the transfer, hopefully that's a breeze. Caressing my fingers. We're not as concerned about the transfer. So really hoping, um, really hoping this all works out but i'll keep you guys updated throughout my vlogs so definitely make sure to hit that red subscribe button down below if you want to stay updated on our journey thank you guys for following along with our egg retrieval and this process this has been such such a, a emotional journey and we're just so grateful for this community who continues to surround us in love and support and we love you guys and i'll see you guys in my next one bye